Hi, my name is Jamika. I'm a partner engineer at Niantic, and today I'm going to show you how to remotely author content using ARDK's AR Location Manager. You'll need to have a Lightship account, which you can create over at lightship.dev. First, we'll want to go to the geospatial browser, which is accessible from your dashboard after you log in. The geospatial browser allows you to search for AR locations across the globe. Here, we will select a location that we will use in our project and download the 3D mesh asset to use within Unity. We're going to search for an area called One Bellevue Center for our AR location. Select the relic location that is just north of the pin. Here, we can see information about the AR location, and we can preview the 3D mesh of that location. Click the Download Mesh button to download a zip of the Relic AR location, which we will later import into our Unity project. Now, we'll want to go over to Unity to begin authoring our content to this AR location. This example here is going to assume that you have already created a project that has ARDK enabled. You can verify your settings by going to the Project Settings menu. The relevant platforms should have a green check mark, and you should have your API key added to the project. Your scene will have the default main camera removed, and you will have added an AR session and XR origin to the scene. You'll want to locate the relic zip file that you downloaded from the geospatial browser earlier. Drag and drop it into the assets area to allow ARDK to import the AR location into the project. You'll see that it has created two different files for us. One is the 3D mesh of the AR location, and another is the AR location manifest. Now, select XR origin and then click Add Component. Search for and add the AR Location Manager component. For this example, we'll want to ensure that AutoTrack is enabled so that ARDK will automatically load our content once we have localized to our AR location. Next, click the Add AR Location button. This will create an empty AR Location object as a child of XR Origin. With the new AR Location object selected, we can see in the inspector view that the AR location accepts an AR location manifest. Drag and drop the AR location manifest file for the relic location that we imported into our project. Within the scene view, we can view our mesh, but make sure that you do not change its transform. We'll want to enable the include mesh in build option of this AR location to use this mesh for occlusions in our build. You can expand the relic parent to see the children that live under it. We're going to add a simple 3D cube as another child of this relic location. Using the transform tools in the scene view, move this 3D cube to any location relative to the mesh, making sure that you do not change the transform of the mesh itself. If you want to add more objects to this location, ensure that you're adding them as children to the Relic AR location. Spend some time changing the transform of your object to place it exactly where you'd like it to be in your scene. When you're ready, you can click play to see a mock of the mesh and your objects in the game view. You can use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and you can use the WASD keys to move around the scene. We're going to upgrade this experience by using ARDK's playback feature to show our content in a pre-recorded video. To enable playback, click the Lightship menu, then select Settings. Within the Playback section, select Enabled to activate playback in this scene. A video playback file for this Relic AR location is available on our Lightship GitHub. If you want to create your own video playback recording, you can use the recorder that is available within the ARDK Samples project 
which is also available on our Lightship GitHub. Extract the zip and point the path to the location of the video playback folder. I'm going to change my game view to a simulator view to help visualize the experience on a mobile device. Click play to see your AR content appear in the playback recording within the Unity editor. You can see here that because we included our mesh, we can see occlusions working properly in this scene. If I want to make some adjustments to my AR content, I can simply make the tweaks here within the Unity editor and then use playback to immediately see these adjustments without needing to go to the actual location. Once you've made your adjustments, click play to see them reflected immediately within the scene. If you don't want the mesh to visually show in your experience, you'll need to hide the material that is being used to render it. You can download an invisible shader for occlusions over at the Lightship GitHub, which can be used for your mesh. Once you have it downloaded, drag and drop it into your assets. We'll then quickly make a new material that uses this invisible shader. Within the relic location mesh, Expand the materials attribute of the mesh renderer. Drag and drop the invisible material onto each element of the mesh renderer. ARDK will align this mesh to the AR location so that we can use it for accurate occlusions. Click play to see your AR content occluded by this invisible mesh. Before you deploy to device, we'll want to double check a few things. First, check that the AR location has Include Mesh and Build selected, and within the AR Location Manager, ensure that Auto Track is enabled under AR Locations. With this example project as a base, you can create custom AR experiences at any one of our AR locations. We're excited to see the engaging content that you create with ARDK.